Hello, how are ya? My name's Hannah and I have too much stuff. I had done a little project back at the end of 2019 where I set out to wear all of my lipsticks and I was calling it like my 139 lipsticks challenge um, because that's what I had when I counted them up but then I ended up finding them in every single coat pocket and every single purse. My lip liners weren't included in that number. I feel like I probably had more like 150, 160 lipsticks. Right now I'm not done tallying up for my inventory so I can't tell you exactly how many lipsticks I have yet. But when I had done like a really preliminary count recently, I think I had about 140 but that included my lip liners and I've also done some more lipstick purchases between then and now. So I've been trying to th think of creative ways to get more use out of my lipstick because it kind of sucks having all this lipstick that I'm not using and it kind of feels like the old ones are weighing on me and I feel like I should use the old ones before I use the new ones but then I'm excited about the new ones now so why wouldn't I use the new ones now? I don't know, it's a constant battle in my mind. But what I came up with about a month and a half ago, two months ago, was that I wanted to use the front row of my lipstick holder to put like my main lipsticks for the month and I would kind of like randomize them from my collection and try to mix and match, try to get more use out of them. Maybe I'd feel more comfortable getting rid of some. That was kind of the idea. So I've been doing that since then. And in my hand, I have all the lipsticks that I was wearing in most of November and December. And I wanted to kind of report back on the experience. There's six slots in my holder. So depending on how many lippy pencils, how many, you know, slimmer lipsticks I have that month, I can fit maybe between six and ten. So for November and December, I had 10. I guess what I'm gonna do is swatch them on my arm so I can show you that, and maybe I'll show you a couple combos on my lips. In the future, I'll be wearing them more throughout the month. You'll be able to see them that way. So first, which barely got any use, um, is this NYX retractable lip liner. It's black. It's really a fine lip liner. I don't use it very often, but I wanted to include that because I was including um, Climax, which is a matte X from ColourPop. I really doubt this is still available. This was when they first dropped the matte X collection that I picked this up. I'm sure you can tell from the way you're swatching that it is definitely a matte lipstick. But I do like the color. It's pretty unique. I only wore this, I think, once. This is the kind of lip um, that if I'm running late to a concert, and I'm going to have minimal face makeup on, minimal eye makeup on, because I don't want to have to worry about like sweating it off or anything. I might throw in a lipstick like this, but in quarantine times, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I wore this around the house once, but I do like it. It's unique. It has a place in my collection. Next, I have the Tarte Tardist Lip Liner in Squad. Just a nice burgundy lip liner. Kind of looks a little bright when I swatch it. And I grab that to pair with this um, ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Fab 5. When they had their five year anniversary, this was one of the giveaways. I ended up getting a bunch. I think it was like if you spend, you know, $15, you get to choose one. You spend $25, you get to choose two, and so on, something like that. They used to do a lot of promotions like that, which was really fun to try out products I wouldn't have normally gotten. But I guess now they don't have to do that anymore. You can tell the liner is much brighter than the lippy sticks. But I do like this because it's my only burgundy that isn't a liquid lip. Next up is London Fog, which is a red. The writing is like totally rubbed off of it, but I'm pretty sure this is a satin formula. This one I actually had gotten from the Beautycon box. That was a long time ago, but I really liked those. So this I've had for a long time and actually wearing it a couple times this month, I realize it's not my favorite red and it's pretty old. So stay tuned to find out if it's going to stay in my collection. All right, now we're getting into the more nudie wearable ones. I kind of feel like this mix of lips is kind of like a good template for having in your collection. Just to summarize before I get into them, I had kind of like a brownie liquid lipstick. I had more of a uh, pinky leaning liquid lipstick. 
I had a lighter pinky liquid lipstick, I had a sparkly gloss, and I had a nude pinky liner. And I was able to mix and match these in a lot of different ways. So first up is 951 from ColourPop. This, I believe, is an yeah, Alter Satin, and this was in their collab with I Heart Sour E. I love Sour E, maybe? I was really enjoying this color this month. This is from Wet n Wild. This is Give Me Mocha. And I don't support Wet n Wild anymore because they are not cruelty-free, and it was kind of a sneaky way, if you hadn't heard, that it was kind of found out that they'd been selling in China for a while and lying about it but I do still have some of their products in my collection that I'm kind of trying to work through. So that's Give Me Mocha. This is Marc Jacobs' Fawn Over Me. I was obsessed with this years ago. I remember this was kind of like a cool, really cool thing when it came out. It was like $30, which was crazy because I never spent $30 on a lipstick before. And I still kind of like it. This is one of those things that Marc Jacobs rarely announces which of the products is actually vegan. And being someone that's been vegan for so long, I was kind of used to just looking at ingredients and making my own decision. I'm kind of wary of doing that now for makeup products because there are a lot of ingredients that could be made synthetically or from animal products. So I wouldn't necessarily buy this today because they don't certify it, but I have it. This is a mini Saint Tropez lip gloss from Anastasia. And this I was enjoying using during the month to make any of the combos glossy. It actually looks quite deep there, but I found when I just dabbed on a little bit, it didn't seem deep. And finally, we have um, the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in Charm, which is a pinky lip liner. I do find that I like the formula of the Kylie lip liners. So right now on my lips, I just filmed this look and I popped on Milani Spice lip liner and Baby Girl lipstick from Kaja. So one of the combos that I was wearing a lot is the Kylie lip liner. Over that, I was putting the Wet n Wild lipstick in Gimme Mocha. I don't really know how to describe this formula, but it kind of feels thinner than I like. Like, thin in a bad way. <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it. But I liked putting it over the lip liner to kind of give it an extra barrier to kind of make it feel more like other liquid lipsticks I have. And then I'm just going to pop the St. Tropez gloss on it. And there we go. So my camera died yesterday. I threw on the same shirt for continuity, but um, different eye makeup if you can't tell. But the plus side of that is that now I want to try on my, lip, my red lip combo because I want to take a picture in it. So this is... Tarte Squad. Every time I look at this, <laughs> you know, it says, uh, it says Squad. I don't know if that's ever going to focus, but I was looking at it upside down and it looks like it says like PEMS. It's interesting how in the swatch looked much more cherry red than I thought, but on my lips, it is burgundy. So I'm going to top that with London Fog. I feel like for years as a YouTube viewer, I was so product oriented that if I bought a product, I wanted it to look the way that the product was meant to look. So I would never want to mix in. Like I knew logically if I have, you know, a nude pink and I want it to be a little bit more peachy and I have a peachy liner, I can make it more peachy, but I just didn't want to. I wanted a product that look like it was meant to be more peachy. And mix and matching all of these lipsticks the past month, I've really had a lot of fun seeing the extent of my collection. And re I've, I've really been realizing how ridiculous it is to have over a hundred lip products when I can make the same look over and over and over again. The next combo I want to try on is 951 and my Marc Jacobs Fawn Over Me.
This is a color that I thought was so deep when I first got it, but as time has gone on and my preferences have changed, I think it's like a really nice, you know, kind of nudie brown for my skin tone. Then I'm going to pop some Fawn Over Me in it. I'm a little messy from the red, but I really like Fawn Over Me as a mix-in shade. We'll get to the colors that I selected for January. I'm a little behind just with the start of filming and everything, but um, my lighter colors for January are matte, and I've realized that it's so much more comfortable to have like a lighter and mix-in color that's like a satiny formula, just because it keeps the lips hydrated, and that's what I want nowadays. I don't want that super dry matte look anymore. Oh, wow, this is really messy. <laughs> Okay, just for fun, I'm going to do one more, and then I can wear that while I talk about the other things I want to talk about. So I'm going to use my Black Lip Liner from NYX and Climax Matte X from ColourPop. What an insane color. So, I've spent a lot of time thinking about these 10 lipsticks over the course of the past month and a half or so, and at first I was kind of like, I don't want to get rid of any of them. But then I was like, I have way too many lipsticks, I, you know, these are old, a lot of these are the ones that don't kind of like make my heart flutter, and then I was like, alright, if I lost all these lipsticks, which ones would I not be upset about? And I thought of three, there's two that I'm sure of. And those two I'm going to declutter. So the three that I thought of were Anastasia Saint Tropez Gloss, Wet n Wild Gimme Mocha Liquid, Liquid Lipstick, and London Fog Ultra Satin from ColourPop. The London Fog, I just felt like the color wasn't as perfect for me as I kind of imagined. It was kind of more of like a, a boring red, <laughs> a basic girl red. And it's, on top of that, it's quite old. It's probably four years old. This one I'm going to declutter. And then also my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, Give Me Mocha. This one, it's not cruelty free. The formula I just wasn't crazy about. I didn't like the thin feeling of it. And I also felt like it was more pinky than I remembered. So I don't need to keep that either. Saint Tropez. I'm kind of on a little roller coaster about because on its own, I feel like it's too glittery, but I really did enjoy it as a mix-in and I felt like the color went with things, so I'm going to kind of keep this, but keep it on probation. And for my final order of business, I have the lipsticks that I picked out to be my lipsticks for the month of January. In the future, I might kind of think of it, come up with them on camera, but for this month, I just wanted to start using them. So I grabbed Smoky Taupe from e.l.f., which is a uh, matte liquid lipstick, Prim from ColourPop, which is an ultra satin, Nude Lip Liner from Milani, one of my favorite formulas, Barracuda Ultra Satin from ColourPop, a really nice deep rosy mauve, Grape Soda Lip Liner from Kylie, I thought this one might go nicely with the e.l.f. liquid lipstick, Allergic to Bullshit Matte Lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics, this one I always felt like I never got enough use of and I want to kind of get to know it better. Strawberry Lemonade Fruit Fetish from Milani. It's kind of like a bomb, so I'm curious how it's going to mix with other lipsticks. I have Fully Nude Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star. I no longer support Jeffree Star's brand, but I have this in my collection, so I want to try to get some more use of it, see how I feel about it. This is a lipstick that when I got it, I kind of wrote it off as being too light right away, and I want to um, get to know it a little better. And finally, I have Cool BFF Lip Liner from ColourPop. This is one of the newer items in my collection. And that's everything. Um, those are the lipsticks that I'll be wearing throughout the month. I'll be wearing them on my own. I do tend to put on makeup every day no matter what I'm doing, just because it's a hobby for me. And they'll also be the lipsticks that I'll be wearing on camera. And then at the start of February, I'll check back on my experience with those, any that I want to declutter, and we'll determine which lipsticks I'm going to use for the month of February. So thank you for sticking around, and I hope to see you again soon.